Flag Friday, Fan Friday, Sweden, Geography Now. Without further ado, let's get into this reaction, let's go. Flag slash Fan Friday, hope you liked the Sweden episode. One small Sweden. little mistake in the political animation, we accidentally mixed up the land versus landscap, the provinces versus counties, but you get the point. Oh, by the way, get a Geography Now mug or Geography Now merch at geographynow.com. Are you Team Hannah or Team Keith? Florida man, roll tide. <laughs> it's not selling out if it's your brand. Anyhow, there was so much stuff we didn't have time to put in the episode. To explain a little bit more on the stuff that we missed in the episode, I promised Geography Rasmus he could do it. Rasmus, take it away. Hi Rasmus. everyone, my name is Rasmus and I've been waiting for this episode since Denmark. Now, dialects. Mm. Elvdalen is a northern dialect, also Elvdalen. only understood in the local area. And it might even stem from a completely different branch than Swedish. So... Oh, God, that's so quick. Elvdalen. Ancient dialect similar to the Norse in the north and people still speak this ancient dialect hmm do you know anybody let me know in the comment section i have so many swedish subscribers hello love you guys uh, a lot um do you know anybody that speaks that language let me know also only understood in the local area. And it might even stem from a completely different branch than Swedish. So, some fun facts. Candy Crush, Battlefield, and Minecraft are some Swedish produced games. And statistically, every eighth okay. person in the world have actually played a Swedish game. North Korea once asked for a thousand Volvos in the 70s, and after receiving them, uh, they never paid back. So Sweden just keeps sending the bill over. It's about 300 millions of euros of worth. And Damn. here, blood donors get a text after the blood is being used to help. Swedish Forestry Act requires that if you fell a tree, you have to replant it. We invented oat milk. If you what a tree? If you if you if what? If you is it if you cut a tree down? So like you're speaking euros, very quickly. And here, blood donors get a text after the blood is being used to help. Swedish Forestry Act requires that if you fell a tree, you have to replant it. We invent fell a tree. So cut down a tree. I think it's, he's Swedish. He said fell a tree. I don't know if we say fell a tree, but yes, I know what he means. Um, that's very good. That's looking after the planet. Of course, if you cut down a tree, you should replant the tree because we need trees. They provide oxygen. They clean the air. And um, I like greenery. So, yeah. Oatly. Is Oatly from Sweden? Is Oatly from Sweden? Invented oat milk. Absolute vodka is produced. Say that again. You invented oat milk? That if you fell a tree, you have to replant it. We invented oat milk. Absolute you invented oat milk. I don't think you invented oat milk, but oatly you've invented. I love oatly. <laughs> oatly's everywhere as well. Oatly's in Thailand. Or oatly's in Hong Kong. Oatly's in America. Oatly's in Britain. It's everywhere. So that's one of those brands. That's one thing the Swedes are good at. Is like you create a brand and that brand will be worldwide. Like Spotify. Like it's just everything is just everywhere. Absolute vodka. Also, a very gay brand is Absolute Vodka, so it doesn't surprise me it's from Sweden. Not saying that you're all gay, but, you know, you've got quite a, It's a good place for gay people. Absolute Vodka is produced locally in the southern region of Skåne. So, thank you, guys. Have a great one. Thank you, okay. Rasmus. A few other small things. Nordstrom and Walgreens from here in Nordstrom. the U.S. were actually started by Swedish Americans. They have one of the only few spaceports in all of Europe. And Swedes, like a lot of other people oh, in the rigs that. that I noticed, really like snus. snus. I hate this stuff, and I actually only... I always forget about snus. Um, yeah, it's one of the other things along with like licorice that I'm not looking forward to when I go to the Nordic countries. Uh, you put it like under the, does it make people sick? It's like pure tobacco. Mm. I tried it by accident because I was taking a drink and someone left their snus in my drink and I threw up like crazy. Hate snus, but you Swedes do you. In any case, let's move on to the flag. <laughs> Done. This episode was so fun to film. I couldn't have done it without you guys, the Swedish geography peeps. And also a huge thanks to Carolina, Jonas, and Johan for being in it. You guys rock. Really appreciate it. In any case, let's move on to the flag. The flag is very simple. It's a yellow Nordic cross sprawled across a blue field. The yellow cross, mm -hmm. of course, symbolizes Christianity. And it follows the same sideways configuration format that their neighboring Nordic nations also have. Now, the exact mm -hmm. origins of the flag are shrouded in mystery. Many might quote the legend of King Eric IX as he claimed while going into the first Swedish crusade 
crusade that he saw a yellow cross in the sky, hence the color yellow and blue. Others yellow might say that it was Makes just sense. a knockoff of the earlier Danish flag. Either way, the first recorded document describing the flag dates back to 1562 with a royal warrant describing it and its colors. Some also might attribute King Charles VIII in 1442 for making it or Gustav I, but at this point nobody really cares anymore. Now of course throughout history they had different variants of their flag. For example, from the 14th to the 16th centuries they were under the Kalmar Union in which pretty okay. much all the Nordics kind of joined together as one unit. Then in the 1800s they took over Norway and they had this flag. Then later on they switched to this. Wait, the Norway, the Norway flag really was in the corner like that. <laughs> wow. 1800s they took over Norway and they had this flag then later on they switched to this confusing flag i don't like that finally back to the good old yellow and blue and Clean. speaking of complicated ah, the coat of arms is going to be a nightmare but let's see what we wow. can do now the coat of arms of sweden actually has a greater and lesser version the greater version contains this mantle with royal drapes and a crown but if you take that off you have the main chunk of the image two lions holding the sides of the shield symbolizing courage valor strength royalty all that stuff it's a bit like our coat of arms it's very similar Surrounding the inner shield is a collar with the Order of the Seraphim, the highest medal of honor in Sweden. Now the shield wow. on the interior has so much on it, but to summarize without boring you too much, it basically just displays all the heraldic imagery of Sweden's historical royal households. The very right. simplest coat of arms you will see of Sweden though is this one, the Three Crowns Shield. Three Crowns image is also kind of shrouded in mystery and only has suggested origins. Some claim it's the crowns of the three wise men in the story of Jesus' birth. Others say that Albrecht of Mecklenburg, king of Sweden, brought it in in the 14th century. Again, no one quite knows, but it has been a symbol of Sweden nonetheless for centuries and is proudly displayed wow. in many scenarios, such as the jerseys of their national ice hockey team. Fun the way the three crowns. Love it. Okay. In fact, St. Bartolemy, which is now a French overseas territory, used to be a Swedish territory, and you can even tell within their flag it has the three royal crowns on it. You know, kind of like alluding to their former colonial status. In any case, that's about it, which means now we move on to the next part. You know what it is. It is Geography fan mail time. <sighs> All right, guys, welcome back to Fan Friday. As you know, we always have to have guest stars. Guess who it is? Oh, it was the guys in the Sweden episode. We got Carolina <laughs> and Jonas. Say hi. Hello. Hello. Oh, and we got Tarchin too, I guess. He wants to be in this video. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, you guys have never done this before. Oh, the Sweden flag is falling. But very simple. Just grab something and uh, enjoy. Uh, just say whatever you want. This one is from JJ from Roland Heights, California. JJ has actually sent stuff before. I remember you. No less and he sends a bunch of these postcards but there's nothing written on them uh brunei imagine just sending postcards with nothing written on them. what's the point of sending the postcard I don't, that's weird hi these are from brunei bandar ah. seri begawan that's the capital of brunei crazy history and they have a sultan and he's super rich he invited michael jackson to perform for him once oh, so, oh yeah. wow that's how rich wow. he is this is a postcard from Ljubljana in Slovenia. Hi Paul, this is Felix from Dusseldorf in Germany actually. Mm. He's on his way back from Croatia and he stopped in Ljubljana. He sent you this postcard from Korkula, Croatia. It's very nice of him. He seems like he's traveling around Europe and uh, thinks about you. Have you guys traveled a lot in Europe? Uh, yeah. I feel like most Europeans have gone around Europe. Like, yeah. Europe is so small, you know. It's easy to travel from country to country and uh, the EU makes it even easier. Where have I you been? I I mean, when was this? We probably were still in the EU when this was uh, filmed. I know this is two years ago. I think we had just left, but still. I think a lot of Swedes come to U the UK. I had, you know, I don't think I've ever asked you guys that question. Have you guys, uh, have you been to the UK? <laughs> That's so weird. I don't think, I don't remember asking you that question, but I'm gonna ask you it now. Have you been to the UK before? Let me know in the comment section below. And did you like it? Let me know. I did like a, a few seasons. I did one in Spain. I did a winter season in Austria. By the way, what did you guys think of the Sweden episode? I loved it. <laughs> Me I too. thought it was great. Yeah. I thought uh, you tasting Swedish food was interesting. Oh, yeah. 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 We, oh, I wish we, <laughs> I got to meet up with Johan again. He's really cool. Yeah, yeah. you do. Yeah. I thought it was a great representation. I, right. so I, don't yeah. remember, I don't remember him tasting Swedish food. And I learned a lot. that has been sending me messages about not being fully Swedish. <laughs> Bleep. <laughs> yeah. did you go, oh yeah, did you guys get any messages from the fans and like did they say anything? Was it mostly positive or like? Yeah, yeah. people have been great. Everyone's been very nice. I feel like uh, most of my subscribers are cool. We got that small group of- They, def they definitely both have been hit, 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 I cannot speak. Oh my God. I, they both have definitely been hit on because they're both very attractive. She's beautiful. He's handsome. 
they've both had though I could see in their faces when they said yep yeah, we've had uh, everyone's been very nice <laughs> I'm sure they have been group of weirdos but other than I, it's, inevitable. <laughs> it's inevitable it's inevitable okay what have we got here um hi geography now we are two brothers from Sweden who've been watching geography now since the Bhutan episode back in 2015 wow and they are sending you a little sun something look at this we got the What's county that? flag of Småland. Småland. Wow. So Småland is located in the southern part of Sweden, most recognized for being the birthpla birthplace of Ingvar Kamprad. That's the founder of IKEA. Oh, oh wow. Okay. I just realized something. The the children's play area in IKEA is called Småland. Uh, I that guess. Oh. Yeah. That literally translate to small, small people's people. land. Right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And this was from Isaac and Philip. Cool. From your home country.